What's up, fam? Happy Sunday to you all. Welcome back to the Stardew Valley Chill Stream. I hope that you're all feeling extra chill today. I know I am. Depending on how my voice holds up, this may be a shorter than usual stream. But I wanted to play at least a little bit. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are annoyed today. That's a shame. Living off the land. Fruit trees. They take an entire season to grow, so plan ahead. If the area directly surrounding your new tree isn't clear, it will interfere with growth. That's really important to know, actually. Once your fruit tree is mature, it'll produce delicious fruit for you every day while in season. Better start saving up. Yeah. That is the thing that I'm not super worried about right now, but we'll get there for sure. At some point, we're really, really going to want some fruit trees going. But in the meantime, meh. So at this point, guys, there's not really much point in continuing to plant things here in spring. The season is going to end in three days, and we don't really have time to grow anything anyway. So what we really should focus on is preparing for summer. Which is probably going to just mean a lot of fishing so that I can save up money. Because I'm gonna need a fair amount of seeds for my summer to go the way I want it. But I also want to buy that backpack so that I can keep plugging away at the mines. Actually not sure how I want to go about this. Let's check the calendar. Why can't I click it sometimes? That's weird. So tomorrow is Pierre's birthday, and then the next day is Emily's. Pierre? I think that dude likes blueberries, but I don't really... I don't. I have no way of getting him a blueberry right now. I don't know what else to give him. So we'll have to ponder that. Let's do a little bit of river fishing until Clint opens up. I can process that geode. I feel like that took longer than it should have. When you consider I'm using bait. Hi, Dale. I would say good morning to you, but it's not morning, is it? wanted. Alamite. Seems I've already donated that. Uh-oh. <sighs> How am I going to reach that letter in the back? Mr. Molnar. Apparently George's last name is Molnar. I don't think I knew that. <laughs> there you go. Look at Penny. She's so nice. Hmm. I could have done it myself. And I could certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? Dude, you 
were watching us? Let's see, I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. I was. You should have asked instead of assuming George wanted help. I'm just taking a walk, minding my own business. I'm siding with Penny on this one, obviously. Thank you. I just wish George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. Eh, he's old and cranky. What are you gonna do? <sighs> no, no. I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. It was actually very kind of you to help me out. That's okay, Mr. Molnar. I understand. He's seen the error of his ways. It must be difficult to grow old. That's why we should respect our elders. Hmm, I'd rather die young. <laughs> Which answer would she like? Probably this one. That's nice of you to say. I totally agree with you. Yeah, nailed it. I can talk to girls. We should treat our elders with the same respect we hope to receive ourselves someday. Well, it was interesting talking to you, dude. I should go. I'm not sure if that was a hard event for George or Penny. <laughs> I think Penny. <clears throat> yeah, it was unfortunate that nobody would dance with me, but I went in expecting it, you know? It's the kind of thing where, like, uh, the game pretty much sets you up to fail there. I, I think it's probably intentional. Because then you do the same thing again at this time next year. And you have a much better chance of actually getting somebody to say yes because you have more hearts with them. And it's probably set up that way to just kind of illustrate like how you're slowly integrating into the town and forming relationships with people. But it takes time, you know? You can't just do that overnight. Ooh, muscle. Pretty sure I need that for the community center. means I'm taking a trip up there. I should probably confirm that before I blast off on my dork-powered rocket and find out I don't actually need it. Um, I think it's part of the crab pot bundle? No, I already donated that one. Damn it. I need a cockle is what I need. Good thing I looked. Catch a couple more fish and then sell them to Willy. out the fish are not being cooperative today. Alright, let me check and see what I need for sprinklers. We do need iron bars for those. I'm not really that close to being able to make iron bars. And these are the regular crappy sprinklers anyway. I don't know if I really want to focus on that right now. Mm. It's not a bad haul. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me think, guys. I really should get that orchard going. Maybe I should spend some time doing that today. I'd like to find somebody I can give this stuff to. <laughs> Maybe Abby's in the shop. Who are you? Elliot, do you like flowers, Elliot? Hello, dude. Are you well? I'm alright. How are you? 
Oh, he's not a huge fan of daffodils. Fair enough. Should have gave it to Caroline. Where's Abby? So if I'm going to make an orchard, I should really fence it off. You know what? Let's work on doing a little farm work. Although we won't make any money doing that. Mm. Oh no, I'm having a real crisis right now, guys. Store those. Where would I build that, anyway? Probably somewhere out of the way. We probably want it, like, way over here. But man, there's so much crap here. Also take some stuff up to the community center in terms of I forget what the bundle's called, but the one that wants like rocks and wood. I probably have enough to do that. Say, I know I can pick that up. <laughs> it's just the wrong item I was using. Whoops. And clearing this place out is going to take most of my energy, actually. I'm kind of just doing this right now to stall because I'm not sure what else I want to be doing. You know what we should do is build that path. I'd like to have a clear, direct path down to the southern exit. Which means clearing out some of this garbage here. Of course, I can't move the stumps. But that's okay. Let's see what kind of pathing I can make right now. We've got gravel, which takes stone. Cobblestone, which also takes stone. Wooden path, which takes wood. And that's all I have access to right now. I like the way the cobblestone path looks. So how much stone do I have? 120, 139. I'm not sure how much it would take to get down there, but uh... Let's make some. Let's start with 50 and see how that goes. I'm just gonna store this other crap. All right. So to make this look nice and pretty, we're going to start over here. We're going to have a whole path leading over. Oh, this is kind of hard to do with a mouse and keyboard. You got to move the mouse with yourself. All right, so that's that leads right into my chest. This is actually kind of a... Maybe not the best spot for the chests. I wish I could pick those up and move those. Now that I'm not using them. Um, or now that I... I don't know why... I don't know what I was trying to say there. I'm, I'm definitely still using them. Uh, but now that um, I'm kind of like formulating the layout of my farm a little bit. Um, this is going to be the spot for the crops in summer. So I got to make sure that I swing around these. And then 
I think we just want to head straight down from here. Probably gonna take the rest of this day and most of my energy. Probably should have spent more time fishing today just for the money. But I've been putting this task off for a while. <laughs> I wanna get it out of the way. Unfortunately, these stupid boulders are in the way down here, so I'll have to steer around them, too. Hey, what's up, Gonus? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming. Okay. I've run out of Exploring, so let's make say 30 more. Oh, I was like, why can't I place it there? Because there was a root. That explains it. Couple more. Damn, I need like one more. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's a little ugly, but it'll work. It'll get the job done. And we can always come back and redo this later. We can always tear this up and relay it. Honestly, I just, I really need this path to stay clear so that I can get up and down reliably. And this will serve that purpose, I do believe. All right, 10 o'clock. I'm a little kind of out of energy, but, uh, you know what I can do? Keep clearing away this grass. This doesn't take energy. Look at that owl flying by. <laughs> you did everything in this game. Yeah. I've done a lot in this game. I've never actually played into the third year, though. I've gotten to, like, winter of the second year. And I think that's where I tend to drop off. So I'm hoping to get farther in this playthrough. It's going to take a while because I only stream it on the weekends, but... Should... You know, it should last a while, so... Alright, and then... Over here, I want to put that orchard out of the way. I want to put it like over here. It's just going to take a lot of work to clear out those trees. Probably didn't make any money today except for that one artifact I turned in, which is worth 150. Yeah, that 
That's the great thing about Stardew Valley, is you don't have to play it any particular way. You know, you can you can play it however you want. You don't have to farm if you don't want to. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Today's luck. Mildly perturbed. Luck will not be on your side. Well, you know what? I wasn't relying on that anyway, so... Yay, a couple more strawberries. No trouble. I should probably save a couple of these. I think I just sold... Yeah, I just sold them all before. Can I make a preserve shard right now? I don't think I can, because... I totally can. 50 wood, 40 stone, 8 coal. Let's do that. Let's see, this is 40 stone, right? We're going through all our stone really quickly all of a sudden. Okay. Jar, and then I guess we'll just stick it right here for now. Again, just based on lack of anywhere better to put it. <laughs> so we stick fruits in there, and then after a little while, they'll come out as jelly, and they'll be worth more. Pretty good thing to do. It's just more money for you. Alright, so what are we going to do today? Um, I should go check the merchant down here. She'll probably have another rare seed for me, and I want to buy as many of those as possible. They are expensive, but they are worth the investment, guys. They will pay you back. It takes a while, but you will be paid back for it. so good. So today she's got plum pudding, wood floor, cheese, red mushroom. Red mushroom? Nah, I don't need that. I'll find, I'll start finding those in the, uh, in the mines relatively soon. Apple sapling is not really, that's not like a deal or anything. It's not that cheap. She does have another rare seed. Give it to me. And should I get a puffer fish? That's part of the. I think that's part of the community bundle, isn't it? Like the rare fish. Specialty fish bundle, puffer fish. Yeah, because I don't even know where to get that normally. These other ones, I think I know where to get all of them, but the puffer fish. To make life easier on myself, I'm just going to buy that for 600. Get out of my way. Seriously though, how is the music in this game so good? CA is not even a musician. I mean, well maybe he is, I don't really know his musical history. But that's not his primary thing that he does, and yet he did all the music for this game, and it's all just so good. I'm like, super jealous of his talent. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna store this strawberry too. I have no reason to be carrying it around right now, honestly. It's just gonna go in the preserves jar whenever that one's done. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do some more river fishing today. Actually, you know what I should do? I'm just gonna try to catch something in the mines. I'd like to put an aquamarine under my pillow. Please deliver it sometime today, Evelyn. Aquamarine under your pillow. Okay. You know what? I think I will make a surprise trip to the mines. Maybe we can find that? And, um, that'd be cool. First, I'm gonna give this to Abby. 
You're the best, dude. Oh, and here, Carolyn, you can have this, because I don't want it. Oh, goodness, are you sure? I am sure. Oh, Dale, by the way, I don't know if, if it's working correctly, but I did set up those sounds as um, uh, cheers for bits. So you can hear those when you donate bits, but I haven't actually tested it out. I don't know if it's working. Switch to fish, go right there, and that's out of the way. All right, let's rush to the mines. We're getting kind of a late start. We don't have the best luck today. But I do need to make some progress in there. We got to get up to the point where I can start finding silver ore. Because I am going to need a lot of silver bars. Yeah, I, I agree completely, Gonus. It's, um, it's amazing the way he did it. Like, I, I think I talked about this in the, the first stream I did. Like, even somebody like Haley, who I tend to hate because she's just, like, a bad person, she has, like, a pretty decent redemption arc if you go through her story. You can kind of see, like, a real person in there. <laughs> it's just written really well. You can tell that this was just a massive labor of love for the guy. Yeah, so we can fish down here, and you will catch certain rare fish. Um, I didn't bring my rod because I'm an idiot, and I actually want to look for an aquamarine, so... I'm not going to spend time fishing today. Small glow ring. Dude, that's awesome. That's a good drop. That's going on me right now. And, um... I'm not sure which one I want to replace it with. <laughs> Slightly increases your radius for collecting items. That's handy. This one's only useful in combat. Cuts the duration of negative status effects in half. I think I will replace that one. So now I have a constant glow around me everywhere I go. And it's just really handy and I like it a lot. There's also a large glow ring. But that's harder to find. <laughs> I understand, Dale. Please do not go broke trying to support me. I, I appreciate everything you do. Oh, crap. We're about to get ambushed. This is what you get for coming here on a bad luck day. Ah! That's dirty. Please leave me alone. I just want to search for aquamarines. Why is that so much to ask? Convenient ladder, at least. Let's spend a little bit of time hoeing some of this dirt. Kind of surprised I'm not getting attacked by those burrowing creatures. Okay, nothing going on there. Got another rice shoot. <laughs> I used to never find those, man. 
Like, to the point where I don't even know if they've always been in the game or if they're a new thing. Sure, a lot of these guys. Jeez. <laughs> Not sure what level you can start finding aquamarines on. We might not even be at a low enough mine level to find those yet, honestly. You do think uh, rice shoots are new? I, I think they are too. There wasn't really. <laughs> Hardwood's nice. Hardwood is difficult to obtain in the early game. Alright, well, at the very least, we made it to floor 25. I'm gonna keep going. I do not expect to get to floor 30 today. But I just want to keep looking for aquamarines. Wow, look at that. Ladder right there. How lucky is that? Ah! You must die. I alone am best. There's the burrower guy. I knew you were hanging around here. Look, if they're gonna keep giving me ladders right next to the entrance, then maybe we will actually get to 30 today. <laughs> Don't count on it, though. Oh, red mushroom. What did I tell you guys? Get an aquamarine from some geodes, I believe. We might get lucky that way. This is gonna be amethyst, which I will happily take. else to pilfer, so we've got to start looking for the stairs. Ugh. Leave me alone. Although the bug meat is nice. There's things over here to be pilfered. It's all about the pilfer and baby. <laughs> Guys, this could actually happen. This game might make a liar out of me and get me to floor 30 today. Should be dope. Oh my god. I should probably start bringing my cherry bombs for situations like this. <laughs> We're fine though. Everything's fine. Okay, there's 
stairs. Let me just look over here. I don't know why I just tried to attack that rock. It was looking at me funny, okay? Two in-game hours to find the exit out of here. Really got to get used to the mouse combat. Hey, there's this, that's awesome. Stairwell is right there. So I can leave here whenever I want. Omni Geode. Yeah. Lucky. Sneakers. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Go away. All right, so what did those sell for? It was only like fifty, right? I probably don't care about picking that up. I'm just going to ignore it. That guy had red eyes and he didn't even drop anything. The red-eyed ones are supposed to drop more. Alright, it is time to leave. Didn't find what I was looking for, but that's okay. We made good progress. And there's nothing immediately apparent here. I'm leaving. Yeah, it does take forever to kill those things, you know, that happens. Alright, we can store that, that, that. I'm taking this, 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 and this. Is there anything else I want to leave here? Uh, I think I'm good. Alright. It really sucks that the Adventurer's Guild closes so early. Closing at 10? Nobody gets out of the mines before 10. Come on. I think that's where I have to sell that ring that I'm not using anymore. The ring I just crafted a couple days ago. <laughs> Look. Oh, my inventory's full. And also, it's like 1 o'clock. I'm going to pass out outside my house if I'm not careful. Oh, the stream freaked out? Sorry, I just saw that message. Um, is it okay now? Let's see, what am I selling here? Um... I will sell that earth crystal, because I know I already have some in storage anyway. And I'll sell these, because who cares. And the rest of the stuff I'm holding on to, actually. Store, store. Store, store. Store, store, store. Everything's fine now? Good. Keep one amethyst on me for Abby, because I think I can still give her one gift this week. I think. Red mushroom is going to go to the community center. It's going to be sold. Did I try and sell that here? Yeah, it won't let you. Lame. Okay. We're getting to bed just in time. Holy crap. Level three mining. New cooking recipe, the miner's treats in a little pickaxe proficiency. Love it. 
Wow, earth crystals don't sell for jack. 50 gold? It's terrible. I'm not making as much money as I wanted to be. <laughs> also, I should turn this bug meat into bait straight off. Oh yeah, that's glorious. We don't have to worry about bait for a little bit. Okay, partially cloudy with a light breeze, expect lots of pollen. I don't think that actually matters. When they say different things like that, you really are just concerned with whether it's raining or not. Today's luck, very good. Spirits are very happy. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Do I still have that quest? I could still bring her the Aquamarine today. Maybe I should head straight back there. The strawberry is still going? Wow, I forgot how long that takes. I'll just sell the green bean. I already placed the one I needed for the community center, right? Pretty sure I did. So we'll just sell that off. Good boy, Rimshot. You're such a good boy. I love you, buddy. open up. Uh, a little bit of fishing, of course. That's the ticket. fish of all time. At least they gave me something for it. Hmm, nice. I love when you get bait out of uh, <laughs> a treasure chest like that. Because you can just immediately throw it on your rod and you get the usage of the bait and it doesn't take up space in your inventory. It's a pretty sweet deal all around. The only thing that sucks about... So you know how I mentioned how, like, uh, when you do a perfect cast now, or a perfect reel, a perfect cast, I'm thinking of a goofy movie. When you do a perfect catch, um, your fish that you were catching goes up one level in quality, which is great. It's a great addition to the game. But now when you have treasure in there, you have to move off the fish to catch the treasure, so you're, by default, not going to get a perfect catch. And before that didn't matter, because a perfect catch didn't really mean much, you know? <laughs> but now it's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to lose a level of quality on this fish. There's nothing I can do about it. Right, let's do these first. We're hoping for an aquamarine. Instead, we got a bunch of other crap. Omni Geode. Come on, baby. That is also a thing I believe I already had. Yeah. All this stuff is stuff I already had. Alright, well, it's all getting sold then. 
What's more important, the treasure or the quality? Uh, definitely the treasure. <laughs> I'm never gonna say no to the treasure chest. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, damn it. Now this won't be iridium quality, probably. It does depend on what you want, too. I mean, I don't know. The treasure chests are a great are a great way to help yourself finish the artifacts in the museum when you only have a couple left and they're getting really, really hard to find. But even after you've cleared out, or even after you've donated everything you possibly can, um, I feel like the treasure chests are still worth it because you can get like such rare things out. You can get like practically anything from them. Yeah, so <laughs> you do need some quality farm products for certain events in the game. I'm not sure when that comes into play and I'm not really like planning ahead for it right now. I probably should. Heavy, just the girl I was looking for. Take that off my hands. Pierre, how do you feel about daffodils? Oh, today's his birthday, isn't it? Um, hope he likes daffodils. It's very cool. He didn't say anything about his birthday. Did I miss his birthday? I totally miss his birthday. Today's Emily's birthday. Shist. Oh well. Maybe I'll find something good to give her in the mines. I'll just have to remember to leave in time to actually go find her and give it to her. Also, I have no idea where this red mushroom goes. Uh, maybe on the bulletin? Yeah, I was right. Oh, and I do need a sea urchin for this, too. And an aquamarine. And a sunflower. Oh, jeez. Alright, I'll try to remember that about the sea urchin, because I've just been selling those as soon as I pick them up. Because who cares? This is probably not going to be a super successful mine run. I'm really just going in, hoping to get really, really lucky and get an aquamarine right away. You don't even open till two? Your hours are the worst. Stupid adventurers guild. How do you expect anybody to do business with you if you're always closed? It's a good thing we found that glow ring, because as you guys can see, it's starting to get darker down here. This would actually suck a lot. <laughs> if I didn't have the glow ring right now, I'd actually be really upset. What the fuck? I can't see shit down here. This game sucks. Bat. Couldn't even see him. It's too dark. And they give us bat wings, which are really useful for something. I'm actually gonna use a bomb here. That's how bombs work in this game. They make it very easy to blow up large chunks of rocks in one go so that you don't have to 
break everything individually. What the hell is that thing? <laughs> oh, that's bullcrap. I can't hit him from here. Ah! Dude, this thing's like a soul eater. What the hell? Go back to the shadows, foul beast. You shall not pass. What the fuck? Why is he so strong? I killed him and he gave me a stone. I got a stone for killing that guy. Go away, bat. He likes you. I was clearly clicking to the left. You guys saw that. Saw it. Can't deny it. I am really not finding much in the way of gems down here. Yeah, I have no idea what that thing's name actually is. I don't even remember finding a lot of them, honestly. Of course, there's like three more down here. I'm just going to ignore them. I'm not interested in fighting them right now, to be honest. Well, we got to 35. I'm happy about that. Fuck it, I'm just going. The thing is, you know, the deeper you get in the mines, the more likely you are to find rare and valuable things. So you don't always have to clear out every floor that you go to. I mean, it's randomized anyway. And, you know, we can always come back and farm these floors more when we need the things that are on them. Oh my god. This sucks! Can't even see the bats, because it's so dark. This is something. What is this? Topaz. That'd probably make an okay gift for Emily. She probably likes gems like that. Especially because she's very hippie-ish. She probably likes earth crystals too, come to think of it. Like that. We are gonna have to think about going back home soon though. Oh, so much crap here. But I'm also almost out of energy. Did I find a ladder down here already? No, I, I don't want to do this anyway. Because the next floor is going to be one of those spiral ones. That's a real pain in the ass. I don't have time for that. We're just leaving. Okay. Especially because now I can sell that ring finally. Which I need to do. 
That stuff stays. This stuff comes. Not that. Yeah, that'll work. Um, Dale's asking if there's been any updates to the game in the last two weeks since I started streaming this game. Uh, short answer, not really. Um, there was the 1.4 content patch update, but that was before I started streaming. That's actually why I started streaming the game, because I just I wanted to come back to it. 750 gold for the sturdy ring? Hell yeah. Um, I just, I wanted to check out the new content, which we're not going to be able to do for a while, because I think it's mostly endgame stuff, actually. Um, since that patch, there's been, like, I think there's been, like, one or two very small patches just to fix little bugs. But that's about it. I, think I saw a leak down here earlier. Oh, Sebastian. What? I didn't hear you. I'm busy thinking about something. Should I give him a gift? He's so rarely outside. I wonder if he'd like a wild horseradish. How do you feel about this, bro? <laughs> He's just like, huh? <laughs> Alright. I do know a thing that he likes, but they're actually really valuable. And I haven't found any yet. I should say, I know a thing he loves. Like and love are two different things when you're talking about gifts. Do I have anything to drop off? Earth Crystal is in the community center somewhere, isn't it? Is it Crafts Room? No, wouldn't be in here. Boiler Room? Yeah. Oh, and a, and a regular quartz. Okay, let's stop off right quick. Because I have both of those things, and I want to unload them. I don't know how long Emily tends to stay at the saloon. I hope it's a while. <laughs> you go there. You go there. Beautiful. I mean, yeah, the game is like literally endless, I believe, in terms of the calendar dates that you can play through. I mean, I'm sure there's like a hard cap somewhere, right? You can get to a date where the game just crashes because it's like, holy shit, we can't handle this anymore. Um, but, you know, effectively, it's it's limitless. But there is such a thing as what they call end game content. It's just like, uh, you know the final things that you can buy with your money that you reach a point where you just can't buy things anymore. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try giving her a topaz and hope that she likes it. She loves it! Yeah! A birthday gift that's very kind of you. I love it. That's great. I did good, guys. And, um... Buy a salad for Leah. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. That's my Leo voice. I don't know why. <laughs> and the rest of the stuff I'm holding on to. You know, I wonder if Clint likes quartz. Sigh, he says. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have seen that coming. It's kind of weird. So, Clint, you would think that he likes things like iron bars and ore and stuff like that and minerals, but I think he actually hates it because I think it reminds him of his life, and I don't think he actually likes his life all that much. So it's kind of funny the way that works. I, I honestly don't know, Dale. I, I don't know, like, how late you can actually play or what happens when you reach certain dates and what have you. I don't want to sell any of that stuff, actually. Now that I know that Emily loves Topaz, I'm going to hang on to that to gift to her. The Earth Crystals are good for something. I can't remember what, really. Store this stuff. You know what I should do? I should store the candles in the mine chest. That makes more sense to my brain. 
So I'm gonna do that. In you go, organize. We'll make the bait with the bug meat. There you go. I love a clean inventory, guys. There's nothing better than a nice clean inventory. And yeah, we might as well just go to bed. It's almost one o'clock and I have no energy left anyway. Level three combat. All right, roots platter. I'm gonna end up spending all my money on seeds and I'm not gonna be able to actually buy the backpack. It's all right though. Let's see. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow for the first day of summer. That's nice. Today my luck is neutral. I accept that. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish. Omelette. This is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg, and I'm going to show you my secret method. You learned how to cook omelette. Great. I'm actually a pretty good cook of eggs, guys. Um, it's like the only thing I'm actually good at. Dude, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon, Emily. New cooking recipe, salad. I think that's actually a really good one, because I think that just uses either like seaweed or algae or something, so you can convert that useless stuff into a salad, which is a lot better. So, cool. Thank you, Emily. So guys, with this being the last day of the season, there's actually no reason to water this stuff, and in fact, we actually should clear out most of it. My only problem is, I don't remember if strawberries also grow in summer. I don't think they do. There would be millions of days in game that you could play. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure somebody's done the homework on that, but <laughs> I've never heard of it. Um... I don't think strawberries continue to grow in summer, so I think I could just hoe these away. But I won't bother. I will get rid of this. And then... What should we do? What should we do today, guys? I'm so close to being able to make... the uh, silver bars that I need... for sprinklers. But I'm not going to be able to really make any in time for tomorrow, so I think I will spend most of the day today fishing. Just so I can have as much money for seeds as humanly possible tomorrow. Let's see what she's got today. Ooh, cherry. Could put that in the community center. I'm doing it. Same with the lobster. That'll actually close out one of the bundles, I think. Parsnip seeds. No, thank you. Another rare seed. Oh, and a coffee bean. Ah! I hate that she has this right now. They grow in spring and summer. I'd only get one season out of it. It'd be a big chunk of my money right now. But they multiply really quickly. Then you can make coffee, and that makes a good gift, and you get a speed boost. Damn it, I'm gonna do it. There goes all my freaking money. You had to have a coffee bean right now. You just had to. You couldn't not have a coffee bean. Let's go tend to that. You gotta be really careful with coffee beans, guys. I've gotten myself into trouble with them before because you start with just one, and before you know it, they multiply. They multiply so bad. And if you keep replanting them, you will very quickly get yourself into a spot where all of a sudden your 
watering hundreds of coffee bean plants a day. And that's not how you want to be spending your time. <laughs> so just slow your roll with the coffee. Once it starts multiplying, just stack those beans up. Don't replant them. Uh, that's not the right spot for that. There you go. All right. I guess let's check for quests. Stop off at the community center and then probably do some fishing somewhere. I know, I probably should have waited, Gonas, but you know what? Coffee's really nice. I love the speed boost you get from it. And even just having it for one season, I think I'm going to get a lot of return on it. A paste of fresh purple mushroom makes a wonderful tonic for indigestion. If you find one, I can put it to good use. Well. <sighs> purple mushroom is found in the mines. Maybe I should go there again today. Just get to floor 40 and get it over with. That would probably be a smart thing to do, I guess. Maybe we'll get really lucky and find a mushroom like that. If we're lucky. I don't know. There you go. Have a cherry. And look at this. I finished the crab pot bundle without ever making a single crab pot. Best Stardew Valley player of all time. Oh, and look. I, for my trouble, I get three crab pots. Which is... So great. I don't like coffee in real life either, dude. I actually hate coffee. <laughs> the taste of coffee is gross to me. All right, we've opened up the vault bundle, which is literally just money. 2,500, 10,000, 5,000, and then 25,000. You may notice that the reward for this is the bus repair, which is a pretty good reward. But we're a ways off from that still. There are plenty of other things I should spend money on first. Let's see if I can gift these flowers to people. I don't feel like carrying them around. Thank you. This might come in handy. A daffodil might come in handy. Well, that's cool. Thanks. That was very thoughtful of you. Hey, everybody liked my gifts. Yeah, I'm, I'm a coffee hater for life. I just think it tastes gross. Like, what do you get out of this hot bean water? If I'm going to take in some caffeine, I'm getting a slushy or something like that, you know? All right. I guess this is just the mine episode of this playthrough. <laughs> I really didn't intend to keep coming back here, but they keep giving me incentive to do so. And getting to floor 40 will be a very good thing to do. Because that's where we'll start getting silver ore. Okay. I won't argue with you. <laughs> yeah, there's another ladder right over there. Ooh, I see Amethyst down there. Hold up. seemed weaker than the last one. Maybe I got some critical hits. You will occasionally get critical hits with your weapons. In fact, there are some weapons that are specced out to give you more critical hits. Right, 
So I'm not gonna, like, be 100% pilfering these floors. I really just want to get through this right now. If I see something valuable, I will, of course, go for it. But if I, if I find a ladder early, you know, I'm probably just gonna hit it up. Shit. <laughs> nice try. Dude, back up off my grill. Jesus. And they always drop stones. That's not worth anything. Fuck you. I think one of these patches must have increased the spawn rate of these guys. Because I did not remember fighting them this much. Staircase, come on. No. Staircase, please. I don't want to be here anymore. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh. That was going to be so annoying. Why are there so many enemies here? I want to fight you all. Just die! Get out of my life. Look, he gave me some iron ore. Finally, he did something useful. Only took killing eight of them. Yeah, there's no coal in that mine cart because I already got it. Right now, I got plenty of time to do this floor 39, if they'll just let me get there. But wouldn't you know it, there are going to be knobs about it. Oh, here comes another one. Dude. The fuck is the ladder? So, floor 39. Oh, I guess this actually isn't the spiral layout. I really thought it would have been. So much the better, though. Master Slayer goal complete. See Gil for your reward. All right. Killed enough of those bugs to satisfy Gil. Thank you. Thank you for dropping that right there. Wow. Two of them. <laughs> the odds of that. Let me just take a peek down here. Nope, nothing. All right, we out. We up out this bitch. All right. Hey, we got a slingshot. Okay, so this is a different type of weapon you can use down here. This thing has never worked very well on console. It's super difficult to use the way the controls work, and it's just practically useless. Now that I'm on PC, 
Maybe I'll give it a shot. It does require that you use stones for ammo, but it lets you attack from a distance, so you have a projectile attack now. And it's probably way easier to use on PC. So maybe... Maybe that's worth it. Whoa, I just found a lead rod too. Look at that, guys. Wow. 18 to 27 damage, and this is a random drop too. As compared to 4 to 8 damage we're doing right now. Now, we do lose 4 speed, but that damage ain't nothing to fuck with, dude. It's like, seriously. It's kind of nuts. So... How does this work? Do I have to, like, load these up in here? I do. Okay. Well, we'll see how it goes. Now that we're on floor 40, we'll start finding iron ore, which is perfect for me. There's a frozen geode. That's the new kind of geode that we can get. It's perfect. Wow, look at all that. And I'm exhausted. Wow, I, I have to swing that really slowly. That's as fast as I can swing that. But it is doing really good damage, comparatively. And it's got knockback, too. Alright. I'm done in here, though. I've accomplished my goal. Let's see how fast this baby can kill things. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay, so... I'm gonna sell the old sword. I don't like how slow this one is, but I can't deny that damage. You just, you can't do it, guys. I got enough iron ore for three bars, so that means I can make three regular sprinklers. That's, that's a start. Okay. bucks for that. What's up, Gil? Gil gives me an insect head. Not very pleasant to wield. <laughs> 10 to 20 damage and plus 2 speed. Aww. That is interesting. So now I'm... Now I'm not sure if I want to use this and sell the other one, or just sell this straight up. That's worth 300. I might use that instead. It's not quite as much damage. But we don't get the speed penalty either, so it might work out better for us. Let's see how much this one sells for. Yeah, exactly. It's a six speed difference. That's kind of huge. That sells for 150. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I like that plan. Okay. Oh, I should probably take my other tools too. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Ooh, okay. Let's head back home. Actually, you know what I should do? Is I should set up these crab pots. I mean, I have them, so I might as well place them. There's no point in just letting them rot in my inventory. They're just a pain in the ass. Because, like, you always have to put bait in them, and you never have bait handy. I mean, I do now because I just came out of the mines, but normally you don't just have bait handy, you know? And they normally seem to just give you garbage anyway. Like, you're supposed to be able to catch, you know, shrimp and crabs and all that other crap, but I always just seem to get garbage from them. And maybe it's because of the place I put them. You know, you will get different results based on which kind of body of water you stick them in. But I feel like I've tried all of them in the past, and it's just always crap. So I don't know. 
I'll set them up, though. We'll check them periodically. We'll see what happens. Oh. Yeah, they updated the quest to reach the bottom of the mine because they did make it to 40. We did not find a purple mushroom. Such is life. Yeah, stat-wise, it, it probably evens out that the insect head is better. And the fact that it sells for more, you could interpret it that way as well, for sure. Hey, look, the strawberry's finally done. <laughs> Swap that out. Damn it. Pick it up. And replace it. So strawberry jelly is an artisan good. Artisan goods are usually pretty valuable. I don't think I'm going to sell any of this other stuff. But I should really start smelting that copper. I want it. Sorry, the silver. Not copper. Silver. goes. Gotta take those to Clint tomorrow. I'm gonna store the amethyst because I've... Oh, actually, it's a new week. I can give Abby one of those. So, hold on to that. And the rest of the bait goes on the rod. Okay. Say goodbye to spring, guys. Because you're not going to see it again for a while. Yeah, so the strawberry jelly sells for two ninety. dollars Not too bad. Not too bad. You can see how that would translate to a lot of profit if you had, like, a bunch of strawberries and you were... And then, you know, a bunch of preserve jars and you had them all running... Okay, tomorrow is beautiful and sunny. Spirits are very displeased today for the first day of summer. They are not in a good mood. Living off the land says, Summer's here along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're mature, they can be harvested every day. Good luck! Yeah. That's, um... That's a good point with the hops. Always good to make a couple of those. Oh, look. Dimitri says, Hi, dude. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there a little ways to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful. For both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way, I can observe them in a more controlled environment. And you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. Which one would you prefer? So this is kind of a hard choice because whatever you select is going to determine what that cave does for the rest of the whole game. And they're both kind of useful in their own way. Here's the general breakdown. Mushrooms, and this is my layman's understanding, but mushrooms tend to appear a bit more frequently. And... They're a bit more useful for crafting things. Once you have certain mushrooms, you get recipes to make things out of them. Um, if you choose the bats, the fruit comes a little less frequently, but it probably sells for a bit more than a mushroom does. And the really nice thing about fruit is that you'll sometimes get rare fruit that's really hard to get otherwise, which you can put towards the community center. Now, it's a random chance for that to happen. It's not a guarantee. But I think that that alone makes it the more worthy choice over the mushrooms. Um, and I did do mushrooms for, like, my first couple playthroughs of this game. And then I ended up never really using them. So, I think I'm gonna go bats. And I'm gonna hope that that works out in my favor. Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Yeah, man. I wasn't using that cave. I don't care. <laughs> so you can see that our strawberry plants withered. 
They do not grow in summer, so we can just clear them out. Where did this rock come from? You're not welcome here, Mr. Rock. Get out of here. Okay. I do have one iron bar now, so... I'll just grab three of those. We should be able to make the basic level sprinkler now. Yep. Just one of them so far. So these things water four adjacent tiles every morning. Left, right, top, and bottom. They're not crazy useful. I really prefer the next level of sprinkler. So like on some level, it's kind of smart to like save your resources for that. But I'll make three or four of these. And I'll also show you guys a little trick you can do. So unless they fix this, let me test this out. If you were to drop a sprinkler right, let's say here, and then you're going to hoe the land around it, and you accidentally hoe the sprinkler, it pops back up. Real pain in the ass. So what people figured out to do is you actually craft a path unit, gravel for example. You drop the gravel path right there, which I actually can't do now because it's hoed, so you unho it. <laughs> then you drop the path. Then you drop the sprinkler on top of the path, and now when you accidentally hoe that spot, it doesn't come up. You have to use the pickaxe. So that's a very, very excellent little trick that will save you some heartache in the future. I'm just full of useful stuff like that. Um, the cave is just now set up. You can see the bats on the fringes, their little red eyes. That's actually creepy as hell. Um, I'd never really seen that before because I've never done bats before. But yeah. Okay. And we'll need two more of those. So you obviously you want to kind of try and space these out in such a way that... It's logical. The things they will hit. The spots they will hit, I should say. So immediately to the right of this, immediately to the left of that. And then I'll put the last one right there, I guess. I'm going to move this scarecrow down just a wee bit. He's good there. That's good coverage, I would say. Okay. Let's head over to the town. And take a look at the first days of summer here in Stardew Valley. We can now find spice berries on the grounds. It's a completely new set of forgeable items to find here in summer. Our new quest today. Next thing coming up on the calendar is Jazz's birthday in four days. I have no chance of remembering that, but hopefully I check the calendar often enough that I don't miss it. Oh yeah, getting the bus fixed is uh, a neat thing, Dale. It's not going to happen for a while, but yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> okay, Celestine. Hey, look at that. More iron. That's awesome. That's a whole bar right there. And granite. Okay. How about this frozen geode? Kind of weird that a frozen geode gave me copper, but... Pretty sure some of these we can donate. Ooh, trash bread, my favorite. Well, we already gave Celestine as well. Okay. Well then, take this.
Um, in case you were wondering, the way these plants are designed here, these bushes, is kind of deceptive. It's not actually berries that you can harvest off them. They just look that way. The berries don't show up in season until... I want to say the 14th or the 15th of the season. So it'll be a while. Morning, Gus. Oh, oh, okay, I tried to talk to Gus. He wasn't having it. Whatever. We gotta get a move on today. Oh, look. Abigail likes us enough to let us in her room now. Dude? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you scared me sneaking into my room like that. That is a little creepy. So I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours, and I can't even beat the first level. This game is ridiculously hard. Well, either that or I'm just terrible at it. Hey, do you want to try this level together with me? I think I might do better with your help. There's nothing I would love to do more than to play a co-op game with a cute goth girl. Alright, here we go. Oh, I gotta use the... Right, I gotta use the keyboard for this. Here they come! I'm terrible at this game, too, by the way. It's, it's really weird firing with the arrow keys. I can't impress upon you enough how weird that feels. Oh yeah, look at that! Spread shot upgrade! It's like Contra. No, where'd my spread shot go? Holy. We're already halfway done? This doesn't seem that hard. It's not a cakewalk, but this took you hours? Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh no, she's dead. Spread shot! Oh wait, she's back in? Okay. First try. Hey, that was fun. Well, thanks, dude. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. I'm not sure I like your implication there, Abigail. What the fuck are you trying to say? <laughs> what does that mean? I know my way around a joystick. Oh, whatever. Here, have an amethyst. I seriously love this. You're the best, dude. Yeah. So Abigail is now up to two hearts. Not bad, not bad. Okay, guys, summer seeds. Here we go. This is a uh, this is a difficult choice for me. I I should have a lot more money than I have right now, but I'm an idiot. So we're gonna have to just plan out what we're going to be planting here. Right off the bat, melons are a good thing. Um, are they one of the giant crops? I think they are. I think these are the ones that have a chance to merge into a giant crop if you plant them three by three. So we should do like maybe two patches of those. It just means she thinks you're lonely. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, um, blueberries are really good. Um, they take 13 days to mature, but they continue to produce after the first harvest. You know what? I have speed grow, which is probably a great thing to use on blueberries because they'll get done faster and they'll produce more. And they're worth a lot. You can convert them into jelly. And also, I'm pretty sure the mayor loves these as a gift. So we want lots of those, too. 
No, it's Pierre. Pierre loves blueberries and the mayor loves peppers. That's right. Oh, wow. These only take five days to mature and continue to produce. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we want a bunch of those too. Wheat is good because you can make beer out of it, which people like. Radish, I don't think I usually bother with. Poppy seeds, spangle seeds. So these are like flowers. Um, which make great gifts, but I'm not super worried about that right at this moment. Corn also makes a good gift. It does not sell for a lot though. And then hops. They grow on a trellis. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, so let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, let's do two rounds of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna have four sprinklers, which means I can set up blueberries. I could set up 16 of these and I wouldn't have to worry about watering them myself. I think I like that plan. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. For peppers. I mainly just want to grow these for gifts, I think. So let's do. Man, they're 40 a pop. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That'll work for them. And then we can do, let's do like nine wheat. I'm committing to a lot of watering right now. And then hops are annoying, but let's just do like, let's do like five of them. We'll set them up in a line. And that's about all I've got money for. That should keep me busy for a while. Oh, I also have, I forgot I already have melon seeds in my inventory. You can make drugs out of poppy. Maybe people would like that too. <laughs> I don't think that's what they had in mind, Dale. <laughs> it would be kind of funny though if you could set up your own weed farm in Stardew Valley. <laughs> okay. A little more coal to do this. There it goes. Put that away. Put that away. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'll just store it for now. That goes in the cell bin. All right, so what else did I have going on here? I had, um, damn it, I have a starfruit seed. I got to plant that. And I do have nine more melon seeds. Okay, well... That's um that's ideal actually. We can do three patches of three by three melons. It's gonna be a lot of watering every day. But it's probably worth it, because they sell for a lot. I think. And I'm gonna want speed grow for the blueberries. Sixteen of them. Regular fertilizer for everything else. that yeah that would actually piss me off if they went bad dale i'd be like very upset about that <laughs> although i will say um there's one item i can think of that does go bad later on and i actually really hate it we'll talk about that more next season um let's see try and do this in a way that makes sense. I'm gonna need one more gravel for this extra sprinkler I'll be able to make. And I'll just drop that 
Right about here. And then I will need one more copper bar to do that. Next season on Dude Ranch Farm. That's correct. <laughs> okay, so let's let's try and do this the right way. We're gonna start by hoeing spots around here. That wasn't the right spot. This is already going horribly. Damn it. This will be a time when it's really useful to set up, oh my god, hoe the spot, um, torches around the farm so that when you're farming late into the night, you have a lighting source. Okay, and then we want the speed grow on these and the blueberries. Try to be very careful with this. If you end up fertilizing the wrong spot, there's nothing you can do about it. You just lose that fertilizer. Well, you don't lose it, but it's you can't replace it in the spot that you actually wanted it in. Is what I'm saying. You go right there. And then blueberries. Same with seeds, you know. Now that I mention it. <laughs> Drop a seed in the wrong spot and you either live with it being there or you go buy another one and try it again. Those are the only options you have. Oh, oh okay. Thought I hit the wrong spot for a second. Okay, blueberries are done. Now let's focus on melons. It's already four o'clock. I don't know if I'm gonna get all this stuff planted today. But that's okay. We'll get done what we can get done. Rimshot, get out of the way. Damn it. Rimshot, I love you, but now is not the time for this. <laughs> you need to respect daddy's farm time. Stay over there. Good boy. Wait, what happened to the coffee bean that I planted? Oh, is that... It's right here? Okay. Gotta remember to water that every day. Manually. For a second I thought I lost it, and I was like, why would that happen? That shouldn't have happened. Okay, melons and blueberries are taken care of. I would say those are probably the most important things. Um, I do need to get starfruit going as well. I'll tell you what, I will put that here on the other side of the scarecrow. That way it's kind of flush. With uh, the 
the coffee bean. Okay, now what else we got? Nine wheat, nine peppers, and then the hops. The hops we want in a row so that they're easily watered and harvested. I think I'll do that right about here. How long do these take to grow? 11 days. I'll probably just save that speed grow. I don't think I'm going to use any more of it on anything else that I have. Okay. You can see how these can become a pain in the ass really quickly. <laughs> What else? Peppers and wheat. Might as well just do these in a 9x9. Nine nine. I'm going to have to end up watering this stuff anyway, I think. So let's do two more 9x9 nine nine grids. Whoops. But not right up next to the melons. I want to keep things a little segregated. That is nice being able to just stand here and do this though. So. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. I'm about to die. Better eat something. <laughs> I just need a little bit of energy. Yeah, green algae is perfect for this. Okay. It's done, guys. We did it. We planted everything that we wanted today. The blueberries will take care of themselves. I think this scarecrow setup covers everything here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It might not be hitting these ones down here in the corner. It's hard to say. Maybe I'll space it out a little bit more. I drop it like right here. I think that covers everything. Yeah, right, Dale? Isn't the Ring of Light amazing? It's like my favorite item in this game. I love it so much. In fact, speaking of that, this is probably a great time to set up a couple torches around here. No real rhyme or reason to this. I'm just dropping them down right now. You know, the thing is, I won't want these here forever. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to have to, like, rearrange this stuff. But for now, it makes some pretty good ambiance. There we go. So now if we ever have to farm late into the night again, we will know what we're doing. Clean up a little bit around here. I really should build a fence around this. But that's a job for tomorrow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh Rimshot's already in bed. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we're back to being broke. <laughs> but it's all about investing for later, guys. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor today. That's great. So you come out early enough, you can see your sprinklers going off. Pretty fun to watch them. I shouldn't have done these in a vertical row, because now it's really hard to tell whether they're actually watered or not. Well, someday I'll learn these things. Yeah, this is going to be a fair chunk of our energy each day. But it's worth it. I have things I can eat to restore my energy. And I can... Um... What was I going to say? Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Dude, no money. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Dude, no money. Let's check our fruit cave. Nothing. Fair enough. All right, so in the interest of getting our funds back up, I think I'm going to go do a lot of fishing today. Especially because we can now catch new fish because it's summer. So I'm thinking... I'm going to stow that stuff. And let's take a jaunt into town. Oh! Sweet pea flower. You know what? That and the sweet, the spice berry, I believe, are both part of the foraging bundle. So let me actually grab that and bring it with me. And I could do some of the other ones too. Um, yeah, let's let's make a thing out of this. If I go to the boiler room. bar. Might as well bring a copper bar, since I have one. Uh, which one is it? Where's the one that takes all the wood and stone? Damn it. Wait, what kind of fish was that? Hold up. A chub. Oh, I had one. I forgot to donate it because I'm an idiot. I just now remembered that, that that was a thing. Here it is. Construction bundle. Okay. So 99, 99, 99, and then 10 hardwood. I might be able to do that today. Maybe. Oh, I can do the 10 bat wings too. Might as well. take all my stone. That's okay. This has got to be done sooner or later. I only have five hardwood, unfortunately, so I can't do all of that. Actually, this would be easier. <laughs> we need, what, 198? And then I guess that's everything for now. I think that's everything I can currently do. Uh-oh, 
here's a quest. I need carp to rub on my sore gums. Please bring me one as soon as you can. Gus, 90 gold? You can do better than that, Gus. I know you're raking it in there in the saloon. But whatever. If I find a carp, I'll bring him one. I have no idea where to even find those, though. I mean, I know they're in the water. But I don't know, like, which body of water or what time of day and all that stuff. All these sweet peas. So over here... Uh... Oh, yeah, what do we need for summer crops? Crap, I should do a tomato. I should just I should just do one tomato plant. Just for this. I forgot about that aspect. Summer foraging, here we go. Ooh, and then if we can find some grapes, we can finish that off. That's that's good. Okay. Hey, farming's tough work, man. It makes you strong. I can carry 198 pieces of wood. Easy. It ain't no thing, man. Crap. I need 10 wheat for this. I only bought 9. <laughs> I can bring the hay, too. I just have to actually think to do it. that. There's that. Oh, I didn't realize I only needed two of these. Probably end up doing the 99 slimes. I think these are actually way more useful. Solar essence and void essence. Once we actually start finding those. Okay, where's the wood bundle? Keep forgetting where things are. Oh, it's probably in crafts. Yeah, that makes sense. Construction bundle. Bam, bam, bam. All right, that's a decent chunk of stuff knocked out. You'd have to look like Sam Porter with a full load. That's a game I would like to see. I want to see a, a blend of Death Stranding and Stardew Valley. This game's already got Shenmue and Zelda in it. Why not some Death Stranding too? Here, have a sweet pea. Thank you, this is a very interesting specimen. I'm glad you're happy. Ooh, are those grapes? Sorry, Linus, I need these more than you do. <laughs> Here, you can have a sweet pea. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. I can close out that one bundle. Ooh, I see a fishing hotspot. I don't think I can reach it, though. Yeah, not even close. Oh, well. Um, Vincent also loves grapes as a gift, so I like to hold on to those for him. Chub. Hey, I got the chub that I needed. Awesome. We're going to have to head right back there. <laughs> Rainbow trout. That might be a new fish in a recent update. We're 
still getting the largemouth bass. I don't need those anymore. I don't think I want them to add stumbling to this game, Dale. This is my relaxation game. I don't want to have to, like, worry about falling and losing all my stuff. Which you kind of have to do worry about that when you're, you know, inside the, uh... Oh, look, I got a car. When you're inside the mines, if you die in there, you can lose stuff. Which adds an element of stress to it, which I don't love. But, you know, it is good to have a little risk-reward in there as well. quite lucky that I'm finding chubs, because I thought I was going to have to wait a whole other year to find another one for that bundle. That would have made me very sad. I don't want things in my inventory to get damaged, Dale. I don't want that. I like being able to just store everything and go back and get it when I need it. Why is Linus just standing there? <laughs> I think I figured out why you're homeless, dude. You don't actually do anything all day. Just stand there and stare into space. I mean, that's fun to do for a little while, but you can't spend all day doing that. Some good treasure. Okay. <laughs> One bait? Sure. That's not the right way, but this will work. Might as well just go through the rest of my energy doing this, honestly. Cool head. That, was that a bundle fish? Maybe? bait? <laughs> Why do they keep giving me just one bait?
Yeah, perfect. It's almost that time. One cast after this, I, I would say. This one, this one is Henri. Okay. Whatever this is, it's gonna be a valuable one. Sturgeon. Whoa, Sturgeon. That's uh, that's another one I needed for the bundle. Wow. Last cast of the day. I finally catch a Sturgeon. How about that? Oh wait, maybe I don't. No, because I bought one and I donated it already. That's what I'm thinking of. So I guess I can actually sell that one? Well, let's take a look. Uh, first, let's drop off these grapes. Beautiful. Look at that, 30 more summer seeds. Oh man, yeah, I think I already had summer seeds in my inventory and I didn't even plant those, but like, I can't really handle all that right now. That'd be too much watering. Tiger trout, I think that's what I was thinking of when I was looking at the bullhead. Yeah, and I guess I already have the sturgeon. I don't know where I put him. Must have been in one of these. So we didn't actually need any of that. That's, that's, that's fine. Where does the chub go? Right there. Okay, and then Gus wanted the carp, right? Luckily, he's like the easiest person in the game to find. I pretty much always know where he's going to be. We want to give him the lowest quality one. Nothing personal. It's just good business. Wait, I am right about this, right? Let me double check. Yeah, Gus wanted a carp. Oh, you brought me the item I asked for? Thanks so much. Let's see, here's what I owe you. Okay. Didn't get a ton of money for that, but at least he's happy. Um, Emily. Have that. She's feeling a positive energy from this gift. That's so cool. And then the rest is just fish and a geode. All right. My work here is done. If you want me to upgrade your tools, you'll have to give me the correct ore. Yeah. Gotta start working on that, too. I'd like to get two tools upgraded to copper this season, during summer. It's very doable. And I'm thinking... Definitely pickaxe. And probably either the hoe or the watering can as well. That should be a pretty decent chunk of change for today, I think. Did I not have summer seeds? I thought I got some before. Maybe I was thinking of the melon seeds. But yeah, I can't, I can't do 30 right now. I would die. 
I should take this stuff back. Oh, and I should be making a point to give these parsnips to Pam. That's why I'm hanging on to them. And the rest of this stuff is good for now. All right. Let's clear out some more stuff. Oh, is my silo full? I'm not getting hay anymore. I'm not sure how to... I don't think I can actually take it out right now. Yeah, that sucks. I think I actually have to build a coop in order to do that. I want to try and focus on clearing out this spot over here a little bit because this is I think this is where I want my orchard to go we don't want it to be in a prominent spot we want it to be in sort of an out of the way spot and then we just check it like once a week or so you know What was that noise? Something just happened. Okay, fishing leveled up. Recipes for bobbers. It's cool. 2300 for all those fish we caught. That's a decent start to the money making endeavors. There was an earthquake during the night. What does that mean? What happened to all my stuff during the night? <laughs> oh god. Looks like a storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning is expected. Oh crap. So that's good because it's going to rain tomorrow, but it's also bad because lightning has a random chance of destroying your crops if you don't have a lightning rod set up. And I don't even think I can make those yet. Spirits are in good humor. Well, that's good. This is a rerun for coleslaw. Oh, gross me out. All right, how's everything look? I think everything's still intact, surprisingly. Sweet. That could have been a lot worse. Oh wait, no, the earthquake. Um. That does something somewhere. That, that doesn't affect me. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, I don't know what the earthquake does, guys, but it it did something somewhere. <laughs> I wish I could be more descriptive than that, but I can't. I hit all these. It's so hard to tell which ones you're watering. Don't ever set these up this way. That was such a bad idea. Hey, I found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Wow. Pam just gave me beer. There really was an earthquake last night. And everything is just not right in the world. Up is down, left is right. 
dude, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. This is one of the best quests in the game. I'm actually very happy that we got that now. <laughs> the quest to go find the mayor's shorts. That is awesome. So, actually, let's... This is gonna sound random to you guys, but I need to figure out what would make a good gift for Marnie right now. Probably a daffodil? I'm gonna go down and give her a daffodil. Because I don't think we have any hearts with her yet, do we? No. We gotta... I gotta focus on building a relationship with Marnie. We should also do some foraging around here. There's probably lots of stuff to pick up. Hello, Marnie. I hope you like this. Thank you, this looks nice. Okay, she likes it, she doesn't love it. Sweet Pea is probably a good gift for Jazz. I think she likes these. I love presents, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, she really did find a beer sign full of beer in her drawer. It happens. Oh, you know what? I think we can probably get a heart event with Emily if we go in her house. This is not her house. This is her house. Why are we always creeping on these girls when they're in their bedrooms? <laughs> Mui wa? Mui wa? Why are you here? That's a great question. Reminded me of something. Even the tiniest blade, this simplest light, holds a wonderful secret. Now I know why you're here. It's a sign. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> Hippie. <clears throat> Sorry. Dude, there's something special about dude. Our destinies will intersect. Don't count on it, actually. <laughs> Holy crap, another heart event? Ah, another beautiful day in Pelican Town. Oh no, you poor thing. Your wing's broken. Oh, you're a bit different than the others, aren't you? Just like me. Don't worry, I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be alright. 
I'm pretty sure this is a completely different event than the one we just did in the bedroom with the hippie dream. I don't know why this is happening now. Emily took the injured parrot into her home and banished the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. What are you gonna ask me to name it? I don't wanna name the bird, I don't care. Darwin says, let that thing die. It flew into a window like an idiot. <sighs> so, do I have... Oh, okay, so I actually have four hearts with Emily. I guess you get an event every two hearts. And we just didn't get that first one because I didn't go into their house for so long. So that's probably what happened there. Let's see if Pam's hanging around over here. Hey, hey, now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. You're welcome. And thanks for the beer. I'm just gonna give that to Shane, because it's one of the only things he likes. <laughs> oh man, can I do this yet? You can actually buy ice cream from this stall. Come back when someone's working, but you have to wait until someone's actually working there. Thunder Egg, I already got that, didn't I? Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I tried to tell you, Dale, Emily's weird. <laughs> I'm not, like, a huge fan of her as a character. She's just too hippie-ish for me. I would love to live in an old farmhouse like you. The creak of a floorboard, the slow plumes of dust whispering through the rafters. There's something special about an old building, isn't there? I mean, I guess. It's not haunted, so that's cool. At least not that I know of. What am I even doing today, guys? I don't know what I'm doing. Um... Let's see, Jazz's birthday is tomorrow. Um... I guess we'll do some beach fishing. I could try and build a fence around my crops, but I'm not super worried about that right now, honestly. I think I'm more concerned with making some money. Rainbow Shell is a good find. I need a sea urchin, but none of those are here. Stuff I can sell to Willie at least. Let's try this hole over here in summer. Ooh, hot spot. Shit. There we go. Oh yeah, we're gonna catch mad fish here. Tilapia. All right. Red mullets? Oh yeah, we're gonna find some good stuff here, guys. This is awesome. <laughs> Look how fast it goes! Love it! Spot's gone. That barely lasted any time at all. 
Well, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> and now we're back to catching seaweed. <laughs> oh, well. Come on, man. Work with me here, will you? Tuna. This is good. I like being able to fill out community center fish. The more I can get out of the way, the less I have to worry about it. Okay. Jesus. Okay, I got the treasure, but this fish is tricky. He's a fighter. Yes. Puffer fish, are you kidding me? <laughs> I just spent $600 on this thing just for the community center. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't have room for either of them. And a Nautilus shell? Holy shit. Uh, yeah, we gotta make room for that. Okay, um... Seaweed's gone. Stones are gone. That's beautiful. Let me make sure the red mullet is actually part of this. I think it's in here somewhere. Red snapper. Nope, I was thinking a red snapper. Okay. So we don't even have to worry about that. That's good. Well, oh wait, tuna though. Tuna is definitely one of them, right? Yeah, we gotta we gotta throw the tuna in there. Oh, and the tilapia too, I think. Yeah. Alright, we're selling that. That that that, 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 all of them. I'm going to hang on to this rainbow shell because I think I might need that for a quest later. Not positive, but I think so. That was good money. Is tilapia in here too? Yeah, it is. Tilapia and tuna. That'll almost close out the ocean fish bundle. Nice. I get so happy when I find fish that I can throw in there, guys. It really is just a great feeling. <laughs> All right, I'll go ahead and give him that. Sometimes you just can't check them on a given day, and I don't really know why. It's always weird. Hey, Penny. Here's a sweet pea for my sweet pea. No. No. There you go. <laughs> it looks so special. Um, where's Shane? Is he in here already? Get out of here, people. Really? You're just gonna stand there and stare at the fence like an idiot? Alright. I hate you, Alex. Where do you guys think we get a red snapper? 
The ocean at night, maybe? Oh, he got pissed. <laughs> hey, stop that. Yuck. Shut up, Alex. I hate everything about you. I'm gonna check this one, too. How do you feel about that? Let's see what kind of mood Shane's in. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Well, what about now? Oh, wow, dude. How'd you know this is my favorite? Because you're the town alcoholic and everybody knows. Enjoy. Um, I already gave this to Pam today, didn't I? Yeah. Gotta wait till tomorrow. Damn it, Marty. Marty! I'll punch you. I don't know how much wood I have left, but maybe we should see about building a fence. ready. Sold and sold. And then... Oh, I do have a regular rainbow shell here. Okay. I'm gonna sell this too. Now then. I did not plan this out well at all. I can make a fence connected to this cobblestone path. I don't know if that would work the same way, though, really. Mm. How much wood do I even have? Forty-five. That's probably not enough anyway. Are the two crops next to the scarecrow watered? They are not. Thank you, Dale. Thank you very much. Nice save, dude. I knew I was going to miss those at some point. I knew it was only a matter of time. All right. I'm going to need some more resources. So let's go over here and chop down these trees. about it for the energy today. I think I can get away with breaking these stones here. Yeah, okay, now I'm good. <laughs> oh, is there anything else I should be smelting right now? I never got more iron. Yeah, let's smelt a couple copper bars. I've been sort of neglecting that. Okay. Today is Jazz's birthday. I don't know anything that she loves. That's the problem. Okay, beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Today, my luck is the worst. Jesus. All my stuff's gonna get struck by lightning, you watch. 
Living off the land says, here's a rundown of the fish you can only find in summer. Here we go. Dorado, found in forest rivers during the day. Rainbow trout, found in forest rivers and in the mountains during the day. Puffer fish, found in the ocean in the early afternoon. And octopus, found in the ocean during the morning. Catch them all you can. That's what I was thinking of, the octopus. I think. I was thinking about that yesterday. So in order to... Um, I don't think we need any of those for the community center, but for completionist purposes, if we want like all the fish entries, we need to focus on the octopus and the Dorado. We found the other ones already. Dorado is in forest rivers during the day. So that would be like the river in town, probably. Well, no. It says forest river. I actually, I don't know if it di differentiates between like forest river and town river. I never thought about that. But it says Forest River, so maybe it really does. Let's go try and catch an octopus. Although it is raining now, so maybe we won't be able to do that. Greetings, dude. It is our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. Cool. I don't know what that's about, but I like it. <laughs> um, I guess I could try giving Jazz... There's the lightning. Um, ooh, look at all the fruit. Look at it all. Dude, I got an orange, blackberry, wild plum. Oh, that's awesome. That's going to help out so much. See, it's already paying off. Community Center is going to love that stuff. The good news is everything's already watered today. Can I make a lightning rod? I keep forgetting to check. I can't even make them yet. So I'm kind of at the mercy of the gods. <laughs> In terms of uh, whether my stuff's going to get wrecked or not. All right, hold on. I need to think about what I'm doing today. What am I going to give Jazz? She probably likes some kind of fruit, right? Little girls would like fruit more than vegetables, so maybe I'll give her, like, one of these wild plums. Because they're hard to come by, so, like, I would hope that at the very least she would like them. How did bats help you grow fruit? Because of guano? They should be really just giving you awesome fertilizer. I don't know, man. I ain't no bat scientist. <laughs> They're fruit bats. So, like, they bring fruit there and then they abandon it because they don't want it anymore. I don't know. But let's store that. Grapes. Okay, I guess we'll head up here and drop some of this stuff off. Bulletin board, maybe? For the fruits? Water, no. It's a pomegranate. Nope, that's not what I was thinking of. Here we go. I can't drop off a wild plum. They don't want that. They want a peach, pomegranate, apple, or apricot. Oh, we can bring some jelly up here too. Although, 
I don't know, we only need six of these, and Jelly's kind of... kind of uh, valuable. So maybe I'd rather put some other, some of this other stuff up here. Honey would be a good one. Once I actually got a bee house going. <clears throat> so it might already be too late for morning, but I do want to go try and catch an octopus. Elliot's running low on quartz. Oh, I can fix that for him. Very easy. Not worth a ton of money, but... Eh, you know. Probably too late for that octopus, honestly. <laughs> I'll do some river fishing over there after I dole out gifts to everybody. Like over in the forest. See if we can't catch us a Dorado. So here's what we got out of our crab pots. Trash, crayfish, and a snail. So... Now that we've taken that stuff out, we just refill the bait. And then we repeat that process next time we come around and there's stuff in it. Oh yeah, I was going to stop off here. That's why I came up this way. Him this. Let's see if the kids are at the library yet. I think they should be. Let's say I'm off today. Hi, Penny. Have this. I'm not going to check the trash can next to her because I actually don't want to piss her off. <laughs> Maybe the kids don't come out today because it's raining? Maybe? I'm not sure where they all live, honestly. Okay, here's this kid. Um, we'll give him the grapes. Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. Anytime, bro. Anytime. And you know what? Here, Jody, you can have this. Oh, she hates it. Oh, that was a bad call. Jody hates spice berries. <clears throat> I think Jazz lives here with Marnie. Yeah, there she is. Nice. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Well, how about if I give you this? Oh, it's for my birthday? Thanks, she didn't like it. Fail. Super mega fail, guys. Marnie, how do you feel about the uh, this thing? That looks nice. Do you guys notice anything going on here? You think about a quest we got a little while back? Does anything catch your eye here? If you don't see it, I won't spoil it for you. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty funny. We need to become friends with Marnie. You saw the pants, Dale? So, this body of water here should count as a lake, in my opinion. It's not really a river. Forest River... This is more like a river here. So... 
So let's stand right here, and can I get to the deep part? Not quite. Oh, if I move down, though. Hopefully that counts. <laughs> Chub. Shed. Would that be under Riverfish? Shed. Yeah, Shed is one of the ones I need. And catfish and tiger trout. Awesome. A lot of chubs. A lot of chubs being thrown my way. I feel like a girl on the internet. Seriously, seems like the only thing I'm going to catch here anymore. Okay. This is new. Dorado! Yeah! Old Mariner. All right. That is awesome. Fish till about five or six, probably, and then I want to go do farm work. Ooh, two magma geodes. Oh, no. oh, okay. I wonder if I can get to Clint's before he closes. I'm not sure what time he closes. I want to process those today, though. I don't think I'm going to make it. But damn it, I'm going to try. Oh, got to go up. This is where coffee would really come in handy, actually. <laughs> if he's open till 6, we're okay. But I think he probably closes at 5, actually. 4. It's 4. I never had a chance. Never stood a chance, guys. Let's do a little bit of river fishing here. Just see if we catch the same kind of crap. Mm -hmm. 
pike. Interesting. Ooh, I think pike sell for a lot, actually. Should go drop off that shad while I'm thinking about it. more fish. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yay. I tried to grab that while still maintaining the perfect catch, but I couldn't do it. Couldn't pull it off, guys. Great. <laughs> you for the bait. Okay. I don't think I've ever gotten so much bait out of treasure chests in one session before. Just constant bait all the time. Uh, let me see if there's people I can give these sweet peas to in here. Leah a salad. I guess I can give Emily a sweet pea. Gus. And uh not Mr. Mayor. Hey, he likes it. Oh wait, who needed a quartz? I went and grabbed that for a quest and I totally forgot about it. Find and return Mayor Lewis's purple shorts. <laughs> yeah. That was Elliot. I don't know where he hangs out. He's not usually in the saloon. And his house is probably closed already. I'll worry about it tomorrow. We've got more time. Find catfish or tiger trout. That's disheartening. But there's the shad. I don't think we need anything else placed in here. We've actually made really good progress on this, which is cool. But we're not done yet. Still not even really close to being done with the fish. So much lightning, guys. Now you see. Now you see the implications of the Mayor Shorts quest. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. Um, I've got ten copper bars right now. Let's make a couple more of these. I do want to save some of this coal. For, um, silver bars. 
But I can make a few more copper. Let's continue clearing this spot out. This is where an upgraded axe really comes in handy. Look at this here. Dude, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. A note from Grandpa. What? Dawn of your third year. Yep, I don't know what happens then, guys. I've actually never played that far. But you know what? I think we'll get there together. It's just going to take a while. <laughs> don't expect us to be there anytime soon. So satisfying seeing this land open up like this. Yeah, I am really curious about what happens there, Dale. But you know me, dude. How many unfinished let's plays do I have on my channel? My problem is I just I take a long time to get through games because I do so much stuff in them that it becomes difficult to actually finish them in a timely manner, and then new games come out. And I want to go play those right away, so I don't end up finishing the one I was on before. It's the endless cycle of the first world problem of too many games to play. You know, it's hard to put the proper amount of time into any one game these days. They just move too quickly. Man, foraging didn't level up after all these trees I've been cutting down. An iridium quality shad is worth 150 gold. Good to know. Now, I think the wheat is ready to harvest today. Which means we should go buy more. Welcome to Cozy 5. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Today's luck? Very bad. Very bad. Lame. Alright. Yep, so if you click on this, it'll tell you that it requires a side to harvest. So you just do that. And, wow, got a gold one already. So the problem is that we need 10 of these for the community center. Where did I get the five hay from? I don't even know where that came from. So uh, I'm going to have to just stow these and then plant at least nine more of them. It's also about time for another chess. The problem is I don't have room here. I've set all this other crap up here. I should really move this stuff. Let's do that right now, actually. And then let's make a new chess. Chests. All right, so this is going to be where I put 
let's say things that I have grown myself and I want to hold on to for some reason instead of like forageable goods and random miscellaneous crap. I think that's everything out of here, right? Everything I've grown myself. Yeah. So that all gets stored there. We'll make this green for vegetables or growing things, whatever. I don't know. And then, where should we set up this stuff, guys? I guess I could just keep them right here for now. These things are easy to move. Chests are not easy to move because in order to actually move these, you have to empty them out first, and it's just a real pain in the ass. Unless that's been updated at some point, but I don't think it has. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad about that, Dale. Because I, I, I remember I specifically said in that Let's Play, I was like, I'm going to finish this game. And then I just didn't. Because I'm a bad person. So, alright, let's go buy some wheat. Oh, look, it's a woodpecker. No, oh, come back, Mr. Woodpecker. I just wanted to say hi to you. Yeah, I actually have some ideas about all my unfinished Let's Plays. I need to get, like, relatively caught up on things. Oh, shit, they're not open yet. Okay. Um, with, like, the stuff I've been streaming. Like, I gotta finish Shenmue 3. Um, Death Stranding, I'm not sure when I'll get back to. But, I think what I'm gonna do... I've, I've actually thought about setting up... It's not really, like, a series, but... It's more like an initiative called Load My Last Save. And the whole idea is that when I'm streaming, I'll just pick a Let's Play that I haven't finished, and I'll load up the last save, and I'll pick up right where I left off. And then it'll be a stream, but I would upload those as part of the Let's Play. Um, it, which is going to be a little weird, you know, going from, like, pre-recorded content, no webcam, to all of a sudden it's months later, and now it's in the live stream format. But I think it's going to honestly be the most efficient way I can get some of those series finished. And it's better than not finishing them at all. You know? The reality is that streaming is way easier than making pre-recorded content. I can do it for longer and I don't have to edit the footage. I don't have to render the footage. Rendering takes fucking forever. Uploading is easier too because I can export it straight from here to YouTube. It's just a better scene all around, honestly. So, that might be a thing that I do in the relatively near future. Yeah, I won't remember anything about the games that I'm going back to, but, you know. That's why I'm branding it as the load my last save, so there's an implication there that, like, hey, I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> Go easy on me. <laughs> I think it would work out. Alright, process these damn geodes. Coal and rocks from magma geodes. Great. Oh, and I really got to go look for Elliot. So I think today's the last day I can give him that quartz. I don't have grapes for you, dude. If I find some, I'll give them to you. Hey, Jazz, sorry about that shitty present yesterday. How would you like some blackberries? Oh, I already gave her two this week. Okay. Yeah. Um, the YouTube uploads go a lot faster from Twitch because I can export it straight from Twitch. I don't have to download the file myself and then upload it for my connection. It just goes straight there. So... Very handy, actually. Oh, did he just come out? Oh, come here, dude. Ah, the quartz I requested. And it's a beautiful one, too. Thanks very much, dude. You're welcome, Elliot. Dude, you look puzzled. <laughs> I guess the hot summer air can make us a little dizzy. Yeah. 
That's definitely what's happening. Ooh, what do we got over here, guys? Trillobites? We can donate that. I can drop off a sea urchin at the community center. It was worth walking over here. Always fun when you can say that. <laughs> What do you want, Haley? I wonder what Alex is doing today. Why don't you go ask him? He's standing right there. Huh? I didn't notice you standing there. Great. Why don't you go drown in the ocean? Stupid bitch. I don't know, Dale. How would you find a trillobite just laying around? Probably the same way that, um, you fight slimes in the mines. Slime monsters, you know? Ooh, we got a reward! What'd we get? Jade Hills Furniture. Alright. Um, what else do I need to do around here? It's Friday, I gotta go check the merchant. She doesn't hang around all day though. She'll leave after a certain time. So I should probably go do that as soon as I'm done here. I don't really have time to screw around with these people. Why am I coming up here? The sea urchin, that's right. <laughs> I knew there was some reason. That's part of the die bundle, I think, which I think is on here. Hey, look at that. I found it right away for the first time in my life. Okay. Or the bees in the mines. Yeah. It's... I think I mentioned up front when I started streaming this game that it's not always super concerned with being very realistic. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to go with the flow. anything this guy would like probably not I'm just gonna ignore him I bundle too many video games. <laughs> That's clever. Crystal floor. I wish I knew whether these were the recipes or the actual items, because 800 bucks for one crystal floor is really freaking expensive. And I'm not going to do that. If it's the recipe, then I would actually like to have that. I don't think that's what it is, though. Luxury bookcase, another rare seed. Look at that. Another coffee bean. No, I don't need another coffee bean. Miss me with that shit. <laughs> I'm not sure, Dale. I can't remember if it usually says it or not. Although, hold on. Okay, so I bought something like that from her before. What was it? I can't remember what it was. If I could remember, I could probably answer this question for myself. Yeah, it's hopeless. If, any, if anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know in chat or in the comments. I would really like to know that. Okay, these are going down right here. And we gotta get our watering done today. This 
so relaxing watering your plants, but only in small doses. If you screw yourself over and plant like 200 things to water each day, it starts to get old really quick. <laughs> so you do have to watch out for that. Oh, let's not forget these. Dude, it's hard to even differentiate these. I screwed up so bad with this. Okay, I, th I think they're all watered. <laughs> they probably are. Still don't know where I got that hay from. Um, I'll just stick it in here for now. I do need some of that anyway, so like that's fine. We have five rare seeds, that's great. That's very good news. All that's getting sold. Let's see if I can find a spot for this in here. Doesn't actually fit in my house right now. <laughs> um, actually, you know what I could do though? I can move this over here. And I can move that right there. And then maybe this will fit. Perfect. Nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, I did buy a thing that said recipe next to it? Okay. Well, maybe that is the the answer then. That just seems weird to me that they would charge 800 gold for one single tile of crystal flooring. Like, that's just crazy to me. But, you know, this game does what it wants, so. Uh, Rimshot, you might want to watch your face because I am chopping some wood here. Yes, I nailed it with a hammer. <laughs> um, if you don't water a crop, it doesn't hurt anything, but it doesn't grow for that day. You know how when it says that it takes wheat four days to grow? Well, if you skip watering it for a day, then it takes five days to grow. If you don't ever water it, it won't ever grow. So, like, if you miss one, it's not the end of the world. But you still want to do it, you know? Rimshot, you're really, like, cramping my style right now. I really need you to just go be somewhere else. Please. I love you. But go away. Ooh. That took most of my energy. I did overexert myself like an idiot. Blackberries, save me. Thank you. Okay. So this is almost cleared out now. That's pretty cool. I'm going to take an energy penalty tomorrow, though, because I didn't restore my energy when I should have. I wonder if this is enough space for the orchard. What I want is I want 10 of each tree kind of lined up here. I don't want it to be blocking the view of this thing, whatever this thing is, because I feel like it's going to be important at some point. <laughs> so I probably need to... I should probably clear out, like, everything from this line over. And then I can build three lines of ten trees going this way. And I can fence that off from, like, this spot right here and then up. I think that's my plan. Look at that. 
We got a wild plum and a peach. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Those are going to go. Well, the peach is going to go in here. I'm not sure about the wild plum yet. Oh, that might be under dye? No. Pomegranate. That was creepy. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> the bats are just saying hi. Is there really no wild plum anywhere in these bundles? I really thought there was. Oh, okay. I guess I will just hold on to the plum for now. All right, so I'm back up to 239 wood. That's good. What about the rest? Yeah, I need to make sure. Okay, I do have enough. I have 10 each of pine cones, maple seeds, and acorns. That's what we need for the orchard. So we have what we need. We just have to actually make it happen. So the reason that you fence stuff off is because it actually prevents, um, it prevents the wildlife from encroaching on it. Like it prevents random rocks and wood from appearing there. It prevents grass from growing there. It basically just keeps the area clean. Which doesn't really matter so much for what I'm trying to build there, because I think those trees will gr will grow regardless. But for things like crops and actual fruit trees, um, stuff can get in the way and prevent it from growing, I believe. Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor. Oh, and I can take this jelly up to the center as well. Dear dude, I saw an article about you in the local paper. It sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love mom. <laughs> she saw the, the article that they wrote us about. It's awesome. I think they're all watered. Oh look, the peppers are growing already. That's awesome. I should go give one of those to the mayor today because it's the last day of the week. just keep growing. Whoa, where did that even come from? I just got like three more than I was supposed to get. Yeah, I have 11 of them. Bonus peppers indeed. I guess sometimes you can just get more than just one from plant. There's like a chance to give you more, I guess. Okay. So, I know I'm going to want this gold level pepper later. I'm going to save that. And we're going to save all the regular ones as gifts. 
I will sell the silver quality one, though. All of them. Gus's birthday in two days. I require wheat for potion making. Please deliver directly to my study. Mr. Rasmodius the wizard. I can do that. We can make a... We can make a point to get that done today. Uh, let's see if the mayor's... This is not the mayor's house. He lives down here. Go, buddy, I got something good for you. Yeah, he loves it. Wow, this is my favorite. Thank you. You're welcome. jelly go not there I thought that was where the artisan bundle was and it's probably under crafts oh I can bring a cave carrot for this forgot I do have some of them damn it where's this stuff at Finally. Okay, so for this, we need honey. I should build some tappers. It's 9.30 a.m. and you're almost dead. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. I got an energy penalty from being exhausted yesterday and then I watered a bunch of things. Whoops. Maybe that's what I should spend my time doing today. I should, I should make some tappers. Although, yeah, because the trees are gonna take a really long time to grow, honestly. So if I wait that long to try and get some of the resources that they produce, I'm not gonna have that stuff for a really long time. And I'm gonna need some of that stuff before that. So I should get the orchard started, but I should also make some tappers. Um, okay, the wizard wants wheat. Tappers, tappers. They're 40 wood each. Man, I forgot. They're not cheap to make. And two copper bars is nothing to sneeze at either. But let's make... Um, Let's just make three for now. <clears throat> One for each kind of tree. Whoops. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Take out enough bars. I'm an idiot. Okay. And then we'll go try to find. You know what? This is convenient. There's each kind of tree right here. I'm gonna plug them in right here. I honestly should have done this a really long time ago. I just didn't think about it. Just 
clear this area out a wee bit. Okay. You go right there. You go right there. You go there. All right. So now they'll be producing um, pine tar, oak resin, and something else for me, which is good for crafting. They don't produce very fast, though, so. But the good news is I'll be able to check that easily because it's right outside my house. That was actually a really convenient placing for those trees. Almost out of wood again. Because those things are actually like weirdly expensive to make. Here you go, wizard. Ah, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here's your compensation. <laughs> so matter of fact about it. And I forgot to collect this. No matter. I want to check on the achievements I've gotten today. We got Greenhorn for earning 15,000 G. We got Old Mariner for catching 24 different fish. And we got Gopher for completing 10 Help Wanted requests. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's see about getting this orchard started. Uh, I still have things to clear out. I'm gonna have to eat some stuff and get some energy back. But I think that's a good use of my time today. I keep calling it an orchard and it's not really an orchard because it's not gonna be producing fruit for us. I just don't know what else to call it really. I think I'll be fine with just a wooden fence. Ten each of these. Stow those. And then what should I eat for sustenance? What's it take to make a field snack? Oh, one each of those. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. 45 energy is not bad, though. Compare that to, like, 13 for algae and seaweed. Yeah, let's make a couple field snacks. Actually, let's make one, because that's all I can make. No, I didn't mean to plant that there. Can I have it back, please? Thank you. Not bad. And then I'll just eat a couple algaes on top of that. Perfect. Let's go to work, guys. Look at all the pretty butterflies. So cute. Yeah, I thought I cleared out all these bushes and grasses yesterday. Maybe I didn't, but I kind of think I did. And you can see that they filled back in already. I think it's the kind of thing where like the more wilderness there is, the faster more wilderness will take over. 
Whereas if there's only a little bit of wilderness, then um, it creeps back in slowly, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. How do I want to do this? I want 10 each, but I want them spaced out in such a way that they're easy to um, harvest when they're done. Hold on. This stuff up here is encroaching as well. Be gone. Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, screwed up the spacing. Hold on. Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. Okay. And then we'll move... Let's say... 1, 2, 3 spots down. got to get out of the way or it's going to annoy me. Damn, I'm missing acorns. It sucks. Is that thing I planted still there? I can't even see. Yes, it's still there. Okay, good. Okay. Make them like a triple chessboard. Oh, are you saying I should I should move this line over one? That's probably smart. Oh, but then it's gonna I'm not gonna have room for the fence though. Actually, no, I, I will just have room for it, won't I? I need more energy though to pick those all up. <laughs> Green algae coming in handy here. It's probably good enough. Okay, so we're going to do it here. Every other spot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
There. Spaced out like a chessboard. Oh shit. I'm just I'm worried that these aren't gonna grow if there's a fence occupying this spot right here. I think they still do. I just can't swear to it. Hmm. Oh, each of these takes two wood as well. And then the gate takes 10 wood. Holy crap. We probably have enough, though. We'll just make... Two gates for now. One double wide gate. Ooh, I got an achievement for DIY. I don't know what for. Let's see how far we get with 50 of these. Those were the gates. Whoops. Let's get take those back. <laughs> it's actually kind of a pain in the ass placing these. Damn it. Wow. Are you really doing this to me? You mean I can't pick that up? Do I have to axe it? Okay, sure. I need to clear out more of this stuff. Okay, this isn't going to get done today. I'll finish it out tomorrow. I need to clear out this stuff here that's blocking my view. And just get a fresh start tomorrow. stuff. I'll keep the wood on me in case I do need more of that though. a week into summer flying flying through this game guys DIY is for crafting 15 different items a storm is approaching another storm you know what though no I'm not gonna worry about upgrading my watering can right now maybe I should Upgrade the pickaxe first. Today's luck is neutral. Mm. Baked fish. Whenever I make this one at home, my two cats go bananas. I need a second chef around just to keep them from hopping on the counter for a bite. Just make sure the fish is fresh, preferably caught with your own rod. Now watch as I place the fish on a bed of spring greens. You learned how to cook baked fish. Yay. What do you want? Ooh. Dude, I've heard you've been giving some people a hand around town. Everyone seems really thankful. I'm awarding you this month's Best Neighbor Award with a small cash prize. Keep it up. It's 500 free gold. Will not argue with that. Great musical track.
You know, one complaint that I could level on this game is that sometimes it's really hard to tell if you've watered a single spot. Oh wow, chicken statue. That's an artifact for Gunther. Going through your trash and entering your homes randomly. Yeah, well, you know. Sometimes you just gotta do that. Um. Oh nice, some of them did start growing already. Yeah, so I think the way these work is that there's a random chance for them to grow every day. But it's random. <laughs> so if you have shit luck like I tend to have in these games, then these trees can end up taking a really long time to grow. out of my face, Mr. Tree. Too long have you hounded my steps. my energy again very early today. That looks like a thing that I don't want growing there. Maybe it's not. I will choose to not worry about it for right now. It's pretty particular about the placement of these things. You need to be standing just right. Okay. Ah, uh, this is the right way to do it here. Okay. Now here's where we want the gates. We can put two side by side to make a... a double-sided gate thing. And there we go. Now our orchard is nice and blocked off. They should be able to grow in peace. As long as we keep the gate closed. Nice. I'm just gonna have to come back and check to see if this one grows at all. I think it will. But I need to make sure. <laughs> Slowly but surely, a farm is starting to take shape here, guys. Very slowly, but surely. What you got for me today, lady? Tuna. Do I need a tuna for the damn community center? On number 45 furniture no thanks wow she has five rare seeds damn that's like all my money ah, i should get them all though i'm doing it might be a huge mistake it's not though it's gonna take a while for those rare seeds to pay off but they will guys there's a reason they're a thousand bucks all right man i'm never gonna get that large backpack like, every time I try and save for it, I'm like, oh, wait, I really have to buy this. Okay, I really need these now. Ooh, but I want that, too. This game is just like real life. I have no control over my finances. I just spend like an idiot and regret it later. Um... Oh, I picked up a geode at some point. Oh, 
Okay. Let's go into town. Actually, you know what? Let me grab some gifts. Because it is the start of a new week. So, uh, I can give one of these to Emily. When did I stash a geode in here? I shouldn't have done that. I can give an amethyst to Abigail. Give a chili pepper to the mayor, a parsnip to Pam. I can't remember who loves cauliflower. I figured out that somebody loves cauliflower, and then I forgot. And I'm upset about it. Just don't regret anything ever. That's the secret to life. No matter what happens, just don't regret it. <laughs> I mean, that, if you have the capacity to not feel regret, that's probably a really good thing. That probably works out good for you. But it's one of those mechanisms you can't really control, you know? Dude, it's already 2 o'clock. What have I been doing all day? I gotta get over to Clint's. What's up, bitch face? Emily usually cooks dinner, but she makes weird stuff like quinoa. That is kind of weird. But it's free dinner. Shut your face. Oh, look. Is he working here today, actually? Cool. We can buy ice cream for two fifty here now. Um, I want to say Maru loves ice cream. And probably some other people do, too. I'll buy two of them. I'd buy more if I could afford it, because you can only get it when he's working. Yeah, you can. Convince yourself it benefited you in some way and the regrets go away. <laughs> I'm not good at lying to myself, Dale. <laughs> Trust me, I wish I was. But I'm not. Jamborite... has not... has been donated, but the chicken statue is not, so let's go there. our reward we traded a chicken statue and we get a chicken statue <laughs> okay You're, you could just fight just about anything because your dad's a lawyer <laughs> sometimes there are no good things Dale sometimes things happen and there's no good outcome from it there's no silver lining a ton of energy, but let's do a wee bit of fishing. Oh wait, there's Emily. Ah, she'll be at the bar later. I don't care. I should do the axe upgrade before anything else actually come to think of it because that will actually give me access to a new area which will give me access to a couple really good things yeah I need to upgrade my axe and now's probably a decent time too now that I've finished my orchard I probably won't need it for a little while Theoretically. Yeah, I should do that. I really 
really appreciate how time freezes when you're actually reeling in a fish. It's a nice touch. Hey, Jazz. Here you go. Okay, last fish. Oh, and it's not even a fish. Yay for me. Okay. Let's try and track some folks down. Let's see who's up here in the saloon. Here you are, Pam. Wow, we're getting achievements out the ass today, guys. Reach a five heart level friend level with someone, so apparently I'm five hearts with Pam now. Oh, I completed 40 help wanted requests? Oh no, it's <laughs> it tells you what they are if you hover over it. I didn't realize that. I only did 10 so far. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Um, oh yeah, Emily. She can have this. Gus, how would you feel about this thing? Because I've just been carrying this around. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. Okay, good. He likes it. Damn it. Oh, there's Maru. Let's see if she does love the ice cream like I suspect she does. Okay, I guess she likes it. She doesn't love it. Well, she said it's a super gift, but she didn't get the heart. So I don't know how to interpret that. <laughs> Who else should we give ice cream to? Marnie? Okay, she liked it well enough, I guess. Mr. Mayor, what are you up to? So it's just staring at your kitchen. Like a weirdo. So now I just need to find Abigail. And I will have doled out all my gifts for today. Well, yeah, there's no point in crying over spilled milk. You're right about that. But that doesn't mean that you still don't feel the regret sometimes, I think. I mean, th there's a difference between having a regret and then, like, letting a, re a regret have a negative impact on you or a ne negative impact on your life, you know? I don't know what I'm doing up here. Um, trying to find Abigail. She's probably locked away in her room at this point. Which I can actually enter her room now, but not if the shop itself is closed. Oh, wow. Okay. And she's not here. Never mind. Oh, shit. I never noticed this before. She's totally got a Chrono Trigger poster here. That's Chrono from Chrono Trigger. And this is probably Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> That's cool. Should I buy Shane a beer? Why the hell not? So what we can... I don't know what that was. What we can do right now is... Uh, just kind of wait for her to come home if we just feel like being a creeper and hanging out right here. I'm going to choose to not do that. Because <laughs> I don't feel like hanging around and waiting. Let's just go home and sell stuff. I might actually call this here, guys. We just about... 
we hit the four hour mark for this stream and uh that might be good for today made a lot of good progress we are already a week into summer i can barely believe it time is flying and i don't think i need to do anything else so if, if I remember, then when I come back next time, um, I want to start upgrading my axe because that opens a path forward for us where we can get a lot of other good things. So hopefully I remember to do that next time. But if I don't, whatever. <laughs> so for today's haul, 695. Decent, decent. We're going to be broke for a while. There's a lot to spend money on in this game, and it just keeps coming at me, you know? Oh, but we do have rain today. That's good. Is it a good luck day? It is. So maybe when we come back, maybe we'll do the mines. This seems like it'd be a really good mine day with rain and good luck. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out when we come back. Um... Yeah, that's all I got for right now, guys. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out on this super long, chill stream. I hope you guys had a blast. I love this game, and I hope that you're enjoying experiencing it with me. Um, next stream will probably be tomorrow, later in the day for me, because I work tomorrow, and it'll probably be a shorter stream. Uh, Mondays are the days that we have people over, and we usually have, like, sort of a game night, a, a local game night, so I don't have a lot of free time Mondays. But I can probably squeeze in an hour or so for Shenmue 3 tomorrow. I'd like to at least play, like, one in-game day tomorrow. So look forward to that. Thanks a lot again, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.